This is a model of a muscle fiber, part of a skeletal muscle fiber, actually. Skeletal muscle fibers are really long. So it's this one obviously has been cut here, um, but it still represents everything that you need to know. I do need to tell you though that there is more than just a muscle fiber in on this model. There's another cell over here. Skeletal muscles do not contract unless they're stimulated by a um, motor neuron, right? Which is a type of neuron. This is part of a motor neuron. These, this right here is the end of the motor neuron's axon. So this whole structure, notice it is, it's been cut, right? But this structure, you're gonna learn more about next chapter in the nervous system chapter, but this is an axon of a motor neuron. It's part of the motor neuron. And motor neuron just means a type of urine, a urine, um, a type of neuron. We have three types of neurons in our body and motor neuron is one of them. It's the type that stimulates muscle cells. This is the end of the axon, so we call this the axon terminal. Right here, the axon terminal has been removed so that you can see underneath it. Remember that the plasma membrane of a muscle fiber, the smooth layer here, is called the sarcolemma. So all of this is the sarcolemma. And if you will recall from lecture, the area of the sarcolemma that forms a neuromuscular junction with a motor neuron is folded. So these right here, that is the sarcolemma, but it's the foldings in the sarcolemma. So together, the axon terminal and these foldings makes up a neuromuscular junction. So this axon has three branches. One has been removed. This is one intact uh, axon terminal, actually four branches. Once I turned it over, I saw that there's another one down here and there's another one here. So that means that this motor neuron is forming four neuromuscular junctions. So this is one neuromuscular junction, this is another, this is another, and this is another except they've removed the axon terminal. So in your lab manual, you'll see arrows pointing to these two structures because there are two parts to a neuromuscular junction, um, the axon terminal and the folded sarcolemma. So that's both of these here or both of these here. So there are two neuromuscular junctions in that view. Inside the cell, all this stuff here, is the sarcoplasm, which is another word for cytoplasm in a muscle fiber, in a muscle cell. And it's made up mostly of rods. All these little rods then are myofibrils. And myofibrils, remember, are bundles of myofilaments. The arrangement of myofilaments creates striations. So these dark and light stripes are the striations of the muscle fiber. And if you look real closely, you see these black lines going all the way down through the sarcoplasm. Those are the Z lines. And in between the Z lines then is a sarcomere, right? Um, so on the in your lab manual, there are two brackets. One is a square bracket. One is like two leader lines pointing to the Z lines, and you can use either one, meaning as long as you know that the black lines are Z lines and in between the black lines are sarcomeres, then you'll be fine. On the test, I'm going to ask you questions like, what is this structure in between these two black lines or what are the black lines? So you'll know exactly what I'm asking. One more thing is that um, skeletal muscle fibers have multiple nuclei. So uh, these big large structures here, this is a nucleus um, of a muscle fiber. And remember, this is the axon of a motor neuron 
and you see some other nuclei over here. So we've got multiple cells here, so you're gonna have to, and actually there are Schwann cells here that you're gonna learn about next chapter. So you have to specify when I point to a nucleus, you have to say nucleus of a muscle fiber. Here's one also. You can't just say nucleus. That's it.